Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm feeling refreshed as I've just got back from holiday and we're just catching up on the jobs that I've missed out on in the last week or so. So just feeling these fat lambs, they've just been fed, they've definitely come on over the last week. The crossbreds definitely have started to come on really well. So hopefully we're gonna get a dozen of these last 20 away. It's been a couple of weeks since we sold the last batch, so that is that. But that isn't the plan for today. The plan for today, we have the wrapper over there. We've just come to pick it up because I wanna get all the used scabivax. If you don't know what that is, don't worry, I'll explain as we get into the video. We've got the A flop, we've got the B flop, we've got all the U lambs that have been tucked to do. And as well as that, we've got a few extra things like pull the tops out, but I don't know if we're gonna get that all done today. Hope you enjoy it, guys. If you do, please tap that like button, subscribe to the channel. And once again, hope you enjoy. Right, so we are now down the AFOC. There's 169 U's here to go at, and it literally is just my typical self to be the only person that goes on holiday and gets a cold. So apologies if I sound a little bit groggy today, guys, but we will get through it because these U's need doing. So we start these, hopefully get these all done, and then we also want to get the U lambs done before lunchtime because we're using a live vaccine today, and you only got a certain amount of time to use it. Then we've got the beef flop to do after lunch. But yeah, crack on, get the wrapper set up, get the use in, and I'll explain a bit more about Scabivax, why we use it, and all that kind of stuff. That's the wrapper all set up. Now let's get some sheep. Go on then, Joes. Let's go. Here. Here, good girl, here, 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 here. Good girl. Here, go again. Stay. Josie, lie down, lie down. Good girl, Joyce. Good girl. Well, you're by no means perfect, Joyce, but you definitely speed up the process, don't you? Good girl. Come on, then. Good girl. That's you done. Joyce, come on. Up you go. Good girl. Well, that didn't take too long, actually. Sometimes what Joyce does like to do is when they're trying to go for a gateway, she wants to bring them back to you. She's that keen, so you just have to be quite strong again to stay. I know she doesn't know come bys in her ways yet, but she's good at pushing them and she definitely speeds it all up and she knows this saw it breaks to pull it back in. So she definitely speeds it up and we didn't want to push them too hard because obviously they're pregnant now and the last thing we want to do is to, is to worry them. So yeah, they're in. I'll get all set up and then we'll crack on with some work. So, Right, so we are all ready to go. For those of you who are new to the channel, which I know quite a few of you are, as I've had an influx of subscribers, thanks to Cami and Crawford. Massive thank you guys. And also, we're just 50 away from 5K. So if you haven't already, guys, please subscribe. But what I was going to explain is exactly what all the colours on their bums mean. So if you're new, we've actually got four pedigree clean tops, and these are all pedigree tops. We've got one left run, running with them. So he's basically a sweeper tuck, but he's also probably our best tuck. So he's catching anything that wasn't in lamb after the first tucks went through. And he is purple. So you see any with purple bums, that is him. Any with green bums is our Irish tuck. And what should happen is the color on the shoulder is the color on the bum. So that's a red, red shoulder, orange bum, which basically the same. All the ones with blue shoulders should have a purple bum. 
other ones are black, should be black, and so on, so on. So if you do see any which are wrong, for example, that one there with a red shoulder and a purple bum, that means she's come round in a cycle again and the new top has topped her. And that makes sense. Now on to what we are actually doing today. So if by magic, we now have the bottle of vaccine as well as the applicator. But first of all, you're all wondering what Scabivax is. So Scabivax is basically a vaccine against ORF, which is a really horrible disease in sheep. It's basically loads of blisters around their mouth, but also you have to be quite careful with this because you can get it as people. And there's a lot of you know that as sheep farmers, if you've had it, it is horrible and leaves nasty scars. And worst of all, if the lambs get it, they get really sore mouths and it affects them when they're suckling. It can give the mums mastitis and just overall it will affect performance and lower the production of your flock. So what this is, is a live vaccine. So as soon as this punctures, it has to be used and there's 50 doses in there. They're gonna get 0.02 mil per sheep and there's basically a spike on there. Unlike a lot of vaccines, this is a scratch. It's not an injection. So what we do, that goes onto there, just like so. You push it up and there's two prongs at the end. You use those two prongs and what I do is scratch under the used tail and that then scabs up and gives the you the disease. So uh, what I do, some people do it in different places, but I find under the tail has the best bit of skin where it's gonna keep dry and not wipe off. It's basically you lift the tail up, you give it, get it onto the skin, just like that. Then I hope you can see, give it a little scratch, little scratch again, and that is her done. On top of the scabby vaccine today, guys, we are actually going through and scanning anything with the EID scanner. So this basically scans the ears with a purple bump, just like that. Just in case anything that is a different color has been covered by him, because I can then change the groups on the computer. Also, guys, if you are doing this at home yourself, please wear gloves. I forgot to do it, and I have scratched myself before, and I had to run off and wash my hands. So yeah, definitely wear gloves if you're doing this at home, guys. girls and you big man boy I do not get tired of seeing him ever since we bought him literally he is by far the nicest tough he might not be the friendliest but we might get you there might you mate he is hell condition not gone lame at all just length power everything this is definitely my favorite tuck we've bought so far isn't it mate that boy you can see jet black nose Perfect breed characteristics. Oh, mate, you've done well this year, haven't you? So we're gonna do a little bit of a trick because I need to really crack on with these and I haven't got much time to do them. So one, two, three. And if by magic, that is all the sheep done. The sun has actually come out late this morning slash afternoon and the sheep are away grazing. The grass is actually still growing and it's the end of October. Apart from the last couple of wet days, we've had a really dry last couple of weeks. We probably need that rain just to keep the stuff growing. But now what we have to do before we go on to the next place, I've already scanned all these sheep into the system. I've actually started to use the Flockwatch app. So today we're using the Orthvax and Scabivax. We've already put this into the app. If you want to show you that in future, just let me know. But yeah, we're on the Flockwatch app. So quite easily, all we do is press the orange plus button. We go down to sheep treatment, which is there. It's really simple. And then we do use using sheep with tags. So we just click on that. Then we go on all vaccines, Scabivax, which I've popped in just like that. And then it was administered by me. And then we go down, go down, we go to next. 
and then it's really, really simple. So we've clicked continue. For other apps, you'd use the EID scanner and scan as you go, but for this, I've actually got groups already. So all I have to do is go down here, click on the topping groups, it's really smart, and you just select all, just like that, and we go back, we go on to the next one, we get, oh, we've done that one. We go on to the next one, which is Iris Top, we click select all, we go to the next one, which is Goliath, we go select all, we go on to, which one I missed, Indiana, select all, we go on to, have I missed one? Which one have I missed? One, two, three, four, five. Irish top, no. Jones top, there, that's it. Then they're all on, there's 168 on there. So we've missed them off, we just go then press save. You will see, I'll just click so you can see every animal I've actually done. So that's now there. We click save. That loads, it's loading. So that is all those recordings done, really quick and simple, way easier than writing a book. And then it just shows you a list again of all the animals that we've done. So we'll pack this up. We'll go over to you and see how they have actually been tucked over. That'll be really interested to see. Right, guys, apologies. We just had a slight stoppage. We have a ULAM um, when I've just been going on the way back to the other ULAM. So these ones without the top, we just got one that's not very well. I've put a clip over the top of this so you can see exactly what's up there. But I've just given us some pain relief, a wormer. She's like bent over her spine, so a little bit worried. She has a little bit of mucus around the mouth, so it could be something to do with early. Um, pneumonia but Josie managed to catch for him we've given us some antibiotics and pain relief and a worm or two so I'm going to call the vet I just thought I'd do that one with her and then we'll see how she's on how she is next time we've got a video because we're going to go and get the rest of those scabber vax now right guys so we're now down at the ULAM second group of the day unfortunately I don't think we can get the beef lock done today but it's not the end of the world but we do need to get these done as we have about half of a container left of scabber vax I reckon that's about how many there is that have been topped. There's plenty of red bumps. It's been going for it since we've been away on holiday. So we'll get them in. There's also, unfortunately, one that I think may be slightly struck. I'm not 100%, but we'll get them in. Check it out and make sure they're all okay. Right, so I just got her in and treated her quickly. She's all sorted. And you can probably just see some of the little maggots dropping off. They're not huge because they're not well developed. We can see they've just started to bury in and go up her side. And as we all know, fly strike can take over really quickly. So I was obviously not here yesterday. The guy checked him yesterday. He's probably just not seen it quite. And overnight, it's got really bad. But luckily, we caught her quite early and it's not got too bad. So there's Crovect on her. We're giving her some pain relief. I'm going to spray it with some blue spray. And fingers crossed, she'll be okay. She should do. She might just have a scar, but we've caught her fairly quickly. So it's not too bad and all those maggots will be dead within a couple of minutes. That's all okay, but what we're doing now, anything that's been topped, so if it's a red bum, they're gonna be scabavaxed. Anything that hasn't been, is gonna go back with the ulams up the road, and they're gonna just stay in there because obviously they're not gonna be pregnant, and these can be put in with the beef flock eventually, and we're taking the top out tomorrow, but we just need to get scabavax used, even though it is getting a bit on now, but we don't wanna waste it. So we're gonna split them up, there seems to be quite a lot of red bums, to be honest. And then we're also going to crow at them all just to be safe. I may as well do it while they're in, um, as the field they're in is fairly damp and it could be to do that. So, yeah, you're going to be all right, girl. I know it doesn't feel the best, but you're going to be OK. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So that's a nice round twenty top. They're all split off. We'll scab of axes. Sorry, it's going to seem a little bit rushed, but I want to get it all done before it goes dark. There's been a couple of delays today, and it's just dragged on slightly. Sorry about that. But yeah, get these round into the race. Fairly straightforward, scab of them, then we'll crow back them too. Run those through and crow back them as well. Right, 
so that is all the yield arms that have been tupped scabivac so that means that they are all covered there's 20 of them as said before as well as that you can see that blue so they've been crovected so any that might be very very slightly struck at all or majorly we don't want anything in the future get struck so it's all protected so what we'll do now we'll crovet these these can now be separate as said before these aren't going to be scabivacs because they give you the into the other group and these will actually get scabivacs now as shearlings we won't do them as lambs because we'll keep them separate for the whole life they don't get run together so they will not actually be scabbard backs or protected until they're used. Second group all done and that is us done for today guys. It's been a bit of a hectic one. I was quite chilled there earlier and it took a little bit of a turn but one interesting thing if you've never seen it so I've put Crovex on her and you can see all these maggots now that have died on the wall. So they're all the ones that have come out. Thankfully, touch wood, she's going to be okay and we caught her early enough. But guys, I'll keep you updated in the next coming videos to how she is. And obviously we've got to get some more scabbard vaccine done. And we've got to get the tups out in the morning. So that's the priority because we don't want to be lambing for weeks on end. So I hope you enjoyed it today, guys. If you did, please tap that like button, subscribe to the channel. And once again, I'll see you next time.